We're going to be making starfish today, and this is just a few of the varieties that we have. That there are, there's actually 1,500 varieties. And to draw starfishes today with me, I have some fourth grade students. And I have like 15 fourth graders. This is a small group today because we're at the end of the school year. And uh, um, the kids are nine years old. Do I have any nine year olds? And uh, we have a few nine year olds and a few mostly 10 year olds. How about an 11? Is there anybody 11? One 11 year old, okay. So nine through 11 years old. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show examples from the kids today that we've made. But let's look at some of these varieties. <clears throat> these are starfish, and most starfish have five arms. And starfish are uh, like a radi make a radial design. They radiate out from a center point, the, the arms. And these are all, of course, dead and dried out starfish. This is the underside of the starfish here on this one, this variety. And here's the underside of this one. You can actually see a lot of texture, and texture is how something f feels. This is bumpy lines here, and there's the center right in here. And I'll show you the underside of this one right in here. This has a lot of real bumpy texture lines. And look at this on the outer side here. A lot of bumpy texture. You can start off, look, it's circular. If I show you close up, it's circular on the center. And different varieties, like I said, there's 1,500 of them, have uh, you know, different colorations on them. Let me show you some more. This one, this variety, and I forget where I found these. This variety has more than five arms or legs. Um, this one has two, four, six, eight, nine, and look, some of them, of course, are missing right in here. And I'll show you what the underside of this one looks like. This is a huge one. This goes, I'd say this is probably 18 inches because it's way past my 12-inch page. Isn't that cool, how it radiates out? So it's up to you how you want. Look at all these little fine lines on the inside here. So it's up to you, see how it radiates out from the center, how many arms you want, so there's no right or wrong. And here's one that has, it's very broken. This would, this would have been even bigger than that one, I think. And then here's a huge one right here. And I forget where I found these. Some of them I bought when I was in the islands. And then some of them were washed, these giant ones were washed up in Florida, actually near the Canaveral Seashore. And look at the underside of this one. This has a lot of these little fine hair textures right in here. And then here's the last one. <clears throat> this one's really huge. I got this down in the Bahamas, and I, I think I found this one. And I had one of the people that worked on the beach clean it for me. And they slice it open to dry it out and clean it. These are huge. There's something. This is very textured here. So let's start off. So there's lots of different varieties. Like I said, 1,500. I'm going to clean my paper here. Um, and so we'll start off, and what we're going to do is just a variety of starfish in an ocean pitcher, and then we'll put, um, <clears throat> we'll get some interest in our pitcher. So we'll, we're going to do under the bottom of the ocean. So start off, and, and I don't want to do the sand line yet because I want to get my starfish in. So let's start off by doing a front view small starfish with a center point to get you started. So I'm going to just do a random kind of small circle for the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to space out five arms. So if I look at this little guy here, okay, he's going to have an arm. And I'm going to, to do this and measure this, I'm just going to come off of here and I'm going to make a V where I want my arm to end. So then I'm planning in my mind right now. I'm going to come off of here, 
make a V and kind of equal distance. I'll come off of this area, put a V where I want it to end, and then come up here just to try and get an off, uh, equal distance spacing. A V, and then I'll do one at the top, a V. Or actually, this is a like an A shape, capital A shape. And then I'm just going to bring it in, but not touching the center. Bring it down, but not touching the center. And bring each of the arms down, down. Bring this in, in. And as I bring them in, and of course they're not touching, then I can make then I can make my connections then, just little curves here where they'll actually touch. Little curves, little curves. Now from here, I can form different patterns and textures. So I can add, you know, little bumps. And I'm just doing like ends or curves, little C's down this row, just to show some texture. Here's C's, little rows of C's coming to the center, and I can even bring it right into the center. Now, if you want your pattern or your texture to be circles or little dots, that's up to you how you make your little texture bumps. But there's one basic one, and that's just a simple way to get all your arms equal, kind of equally spaced. If you, you could even start off, say if I want to start off with one that has more arms, or if I want to do one that has a bent arm, then I can start with my center here, and then I'll stick in some arms over here. I can bring it back if I want to. Once I know how to draw them, then I can go ahead and sketch what I see. Bring back my arm here, and I'm just looking at this one. Put my little end in, come back, put my end in here, come back, and then this one's going to be bent up and come back. And then again put your texture in. Texture adds more interest. And then I can do texture. I'll do this one with little dots instead. I'll fill in circles. So you can put a variety of different starfish in at the bottom. And if you do your ocean scene, say if this is going to be the sand, right in here. You might want to add sand, a nice coral bottom with the sand, and then you can add your uh, fish in the back here. You can even make, if you want to add a rock, here's a giant rock, it's a freeform line, and I might want to put starfish in the distance because as it gets farther away they get smaller. So now I'm going to put my starfish attached to a rock, one, two, three, four, oops, five. Now look, I made a little mistake, I can just fix it, add a rock to it. And I, as it gets farther back, it gets smaller, smaller. So I can do a whole land, uh, seascape with starfish. I can even put in some of the different varieties. Remember these skinny ones? These were really cool. Long and narrow. So maybe I want to put a, another one down here. Very long and narrow. Starting in my center point. I'm going to do a dotted line, a dotted circle here. That's my center. And these are straight, but say you want your starfish to bend a little. You can have it bend to give more interest. Maybe it's kind of reaching around and trying to grab something. So I'm going to bend these and connect them. And then this has little dots. So this variety I'm making with just rows of very neat dots. And this adds variation to our picture. Variety. It makes our picture more interesting. If I did these seahorse legs all the same, it wouldn't be as interesting. So adding variety and variation. That's all similar to the word variety means the same giving variation and variety it makes the painting or picture more interesting so changing the species up
Now, I'm going to see what you've done. You can add more coral down here and rock. You can even add some tropical fish. You've got all this space. This is where you can add your schools of fish to. Okay, and let me see what my fourth graders made for our starfish. Got a nice rock in the background. Nice patterning textures. The textures are really what make it interesting. It gives, it gives a nice contrast. Is that example? Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, and this is cool. This looks like some bubbles. Is this bubbles coming up on the rock? Was that bubbles? Beautiful. And look, you can add seaweed, sea algae. This is cool, too. This almost looks like a hole in the rock. That's neat. All right, and I want to thank my third grader, uh, fourth graders for helping me create some starfish.